Okay, today I'm going to do a video on discontinuous measurement time sampling, how to record this data. Okay, this was a user requested video. If you have a request, email me or leave a comment below and I will get to it. Okay, um, check our description. We have a website up now. Um, we have links to our study guide and our practice exam. Okay, and then like and subscribe, it really helps. All right, so today, discontinuous measurement, AKA time sampling, all right? I get a lot of questions about this because people want to make it more difficult than it is. I promise you, it's not, okay? So what is it? Discontinuous measurement, okay? We're only taking data during small intervals of our session or of our day. Continuous measurement, as you should know, okay? We're taking data throughout the entire session. Every instance of the behavior is recorded. And discontinuous measurement, only behavior that occurs during these intervals do we record, okay? So what are our types? We have partial, we have whole, and we have momentary time sampling, okay? So how do we start? We don't need any high tech gear or a lot of materials, okay? All you need is a stopwatch and a data sheet. That's why I've kept it simple to just show you how easy this can be. I need a stopwatch, a data sheet, and I'm good, okay? So what are we tracking? Let's say we're tracking my behavior, okay, and you're going to do this with me, of touching my nose, okay, that's our behavior. So what do we do first? We need our total interval, which is 30 seconds, and in real life, you would never do such a short one, okay, you would do like a minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, but for the sake of this video, we're going to do 30 seconds, and then break that up into three data points, 10 seconds each, okay. This is where you're taking your data. So if this was 10 minutes and then 10 seconds each, you'd have a lot more data points, right? So you have a, a full increment that you break into segments or intervals, okay? And now you're just taking data per 10 seconds. So during partial interval, if it happens at all within the first 10 seconds, okay, it counts as a response. If it happens at all in between 11 and 20 seconds, okay, and if it happens at all in between 21 and 30, okay, it's gonna count. So let's try it out. The behavior is me touching my nose, okay? This is our timer, so take data with me, okay? Ready, go. In the first 10 seconds, did I touch my nose? No, not at all, right? Go check the tape, right? Didn't touch it. So if your data sheet, it's either going to be a yes or a no or a response, no response. In our case, it's a no, no response, okay? 11 through 20, how many times did I touch my nose? Twice. Or remember in partial interval, we're not taking frequency data, okay? We're just recording if it happened or not. So we're not gonna put the number, we're just gonna put response. Lastly, 21 to 30, okay, let's finish our timer. Did I touch my nose? No, no response, okay? So one out of three, okay, 33% or whatever that is, right? And there you go, that's your partial interval data. The behavior happened 33% of the time, okay, um, during our recording, okay? So simple as that. All right, let's do whole interval. Same setup, 30 seconds for 10 seconds each, but now it has to happen for the entire duration of the interval. So, so to clarify, from the beginning to the end, my finger needs to be on my nose, right? So let's see. And remember, this is just for the sake of example, but if my finger is not on my nose the entire interval, during whole interval, it is no response, okay? So here we go.
All right, tricky one. First interval, what happened? Well, I touched my nose a lot, right? But what are we taking? We're taking whole interval data. Did it happen the entire time? No, so no response. So you can start to see how discontinuous measurement can be a little inaccurate, right? Because I was touching my nose, it just didn't happen the entire time. If we were taking partial interval data, it would have been a response, but we're not. We're taking whole interval data. That's no response. 11 through 20, my finger was on my nose the entire time, right? Response. Same thing, 21 through 30, response, okay? It happened the entire duration. For the first 10 seconds, did it happen? Yes. Did it happen the entire time? No, okay? So last, last one, momentary time sampling, okay? Same time setup. But if it happens at the end of the interval, if it happens right at 10 seconds, right at 20 seconds, and right at 30, okay? You ready? Here we go. Okay, another tricky one. What happened in the first 10 seconds? I rubbed my eye, right? I did all kind of crazy stuff. But at, the, at 10 seconds, did I touch my nose? Yes, response. At 20 seconds, what happened? I didn't touch my nose. Oh, but I touched my nose throughout the video, throughout, throughout the, the, the interval, doesn't matter, okay? No response, it's got to happen right at the end, okay? So this would be like if you have six kiddos in your classroom, and every five minutes you look up and you see who's talking, okay? You don't take data until you look up. Same idea, you're looking up at 10 seconds, at 20 seconds, at 30. And then finally at 30, did I touch my nose? Yes, so response. Okay, so this would be two out of three, two out of three. So very straightforward, okay? Don't make it harder than it is, because it's not, okay? Um, so, yep, that's our how-to video. If you have a request, let me know, like, subscribe, uh, check out our website, check out our study materials, um, and study hard.